So there are several ICFs in the Vancouver marketplace today, all with a fairly similar design, four feet in length by 16 inches tall. Now we've chosen to bring in the ICF block called Nudura. And what makes Nudura special is that it's over twice as big as the competition, at eight feet long by 18 inches high. As the builder, this means that you can stack more wall in less time. Not only is Nudura the largest ICF, but it is also the thinnest. It has a hinge tie, so it ships and is stored in a closed position. This means a lower delivery cost and more space on your job site. Nudura is also completely reversible, which means there's no top, there's no bottom, there's no left, there's no right. This means that if I cut a Nudura block in half, I can use the other half at a later date. With other ICFs, we definitely have a top and we have a bottom, which means that if I cut any of this in half, the other half of it's going in the garbage. With other ICFs, you have to stock left and right hand corners. With Nudura, a left hand corner turns into a right hand corner by flipping it upside down. When concrete is being placed into an ICF, concrete pressure can get in between the courses of ICF and cause them to separate. If you look at the top and bottom of the Nudura web, you'll notice a pair of interlocking teeth, which click together upon assembly to prevent form uplift. Many ICFs, the plastic web stops short of the top and bottom of the ICF block. Now, when these courses are stacked on top of each other, this is gonna result in gaps in between our plastic webs. When concrete cures, it generates a lot of thermal energy. Now this heat is actually going to temporarily weaken our styrofoam, which means because of the gaps between our webs and the weight of rebar and concrete in the walls, we could actually get our walls settling on us. With Nudura, the plastic webs run from the top to the bottom of the block, so any chance of form settlement is completely eliminated.